Yes, hi guys, welcome again and uh, remember it's Max giving you all the updates and giving all the information. Today I'm straight right where I say in the accommodation, uh, which I may call my apartment and I say I decided to give up this. By the way, if it's your first time come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hesitate to subscribe to, to support. Remember we are looking at the road to 10,000 subscribers and that's because it's going to be your effort and it's because of your love that definitely I think this is going to work out. Yes, we looked at what you call the higher visas, the higher visas being uh, abandoned in one way. I think most of people, most of people have tried to enjoy the country using what you call the higher visa when you come to tourism. Some of them have visited a lot of places in any way or, or the other, and they've been able to have what would definitely you have or what you would see in any way or the other. Yes, someone asked me a question, how can I apply a tourist visa to Qatar? Uh, being that the higher visa now cannot come into the country. Then, something that definitely I need to let you know. Let us talk, try to talk about what we call a higher portal. What you call a higher portal is just a, uh, it's a streamlined it's a streamlined portal for tourist visa or for any application of visa that you need to have in Qatar. All visas that you need to have, all types of visas that need to permit you entry in Qatar, you need to go to www.hire.qa. That's the portal where definitely you need to get all those visas that definitely you need to know. However, something that still I need to let you go or I need to make you understand. When you go to that portal, there are four types of visas. We have A1, we have A2, and A3, and A4. Yes, most people will ask me a question now, which one is better, which one? It will depend on which kind of nationality, it will depend, depend on intention, and it will depend, also depend on what kind of... Uh, requirements and what kind of rights you have to that visa when you look at a1 a1 is what you call a tourist visa you can make entry into the country you can make an, anyone can make into the uh, entry into the country but remember you will need to apply for it you'll have to pay the visa fee and if you are going to stay in the country for more than 30 days then definitely you'll have to have proof of a medical insurance and also something that one of the requirements for this type of visa a1 is you need to have what you call accommodation, proof of accommodation where you're going to stay, either friends or you're going to stay with a hotel, then also you need to show that you booked up the hotel and you have the proof of accommodation. Then we have what you call A2, A2 that is for residents, uh, residents of Qatar. If those residents of Qatar that have what you call a valid residence permit, you can exit a country and come in, exit in the country. It doesn't matter which kind of, which kind of profession, which kind of profession that you have. So long as your QID is valid, you can exit the country, you can apply for it, exit the country and come into the country. That one has no problem. So long as what you call your QID is valid. Yes, something definitely I need to let you know with A2 for the residence permit for the residents of Qatar who have valid QID or valid residence permit, it is a doesn't doesn't it doesn't discriminate against any profession. Anyone with a profession who has a valid uh, residence permit can still apply for this type of visa and you can come into the country. Then we have another one. Now, what we call A3, that is A3 type of visa, which is called an electronic travel authorization. This is only, uh, it is AFS, electronic uh, travel authorization is applicable for visas for those people of coming from UK, people coming from Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States, uh, that they will need visas on arrival now uh, without even application. However, something also need to understand that with the authentic, what you call the uh, the ATC, uh, what you call the ETA uh, visa, that is uh, A3, also they will need to prove what you call accommodation where they are going to stay. Uh, definitely, maybe by booking an hotel or a friend's room, they will need to give an address of that person. Then also, what they need to have is that they will also have what you call proof. At, if they are going to stay in the country for more than 30 days, then definitely they will have to have what you call a medical insurance in one way or the other. So definitely, you find that this one also gives them uh, that one that they can come into the country 
anytime they want but also they have to fulfill those other kind of requirements in one way or other then we have what you call a uh, uh, a4 a4 that is companions of gcc citizens for gcc citizens uh, here they can bring in their family they can bring in their companions they can bring in their families they can come and live here and definitely they have to have them for one minute of time they can share with them at one of the things that definitely for those GCC what they need to understand is that the requirement you must have filled fill up the salary of 10,000 that should be paid to you as your salary. So you find that also this type of visa is also on what you call the higher portal. For someone who asked me about the higher portal, then definitely you can also find this kind of visa here and definitely you can get it in one way or the other. So you find that on a higher it's a streamlined and you can have all these types of visas. Wherever you have to, you can have the visas and get into the country without even what you call hesitation hope i've tried to share something for you and definitely uh, yes we never have to stop every single day you have to plan you have to come in and you have to plan yes i give would you just give a question for especially for the people africans that definitely will come i think we'll use the a1 to come into the country but definitely all of a sudden you know that as you come into the country you need to prepare and have enough money with you if you are going to look up an employer because the first time things will not be a little bit very easy as you're trying to look up the company to take you up you will have to give the document you'll have to exit again and come back so you definitely as you're coming into the country make sure that you are well prepared and definitely you know that you can stay in the country and definitely that's going to be that all very good hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much again in the next video remember and smex always give me